the DNA hard tonneau cover for the Jeep Gladiator Mojave. How's it doing? Well, good morning everybody. How are you today? Pretty good here, and today we're gonna take a, a look at the DNA hard tonneau cover for the Jeep Gladiator Mojave. Randall is over here again. There he is over there. He's got his truck over here, and we're gonna do kind of a follow-up just to take a look at how this cover is doing for him. So, let's start off with Randall. How are you liking it so far since you've had it? This is the fourth tonneau I've had on different trucks, third different design and it's working best better than any of the others. Uh, it has many, 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 much less leakage. I've driven it in a couple little showers, no leakage, which is I've never had happen before with all the other styles. Awesome. It no. also is sturdy enough. I needed to get elevation to take some pictures. I can walk on this one. My others, any of them, it would have been bad. Right, for instance, like what I have, which is the vinyl one back here, Obviously, you're not walking on that thing. Not but once. Yeah, right. <laughs> so, let's take a look. Obviously, you guys can see it. I like the look of it, the design of it. Matches the truck real well, and it is a trifold. Does have the little handles in here. They just kind of clip over and pull down for uh, holding it shut. Now, one thing I wanted to, to mention, and Randall has done this to his truck, and that is water. So why don't you tell us what you've done to eliminate, or reduce anyway, the amount of water you might get in here. There's about a tube of caulk in this thing. Uh, <laughs> there are gaps here on both sides, and at the front, you can see the asphalt through. Uh, there are huge holes here and here, and small let me, ones here. Let me interrupt you for a second. Let's go compare that to mine, just so you can see. The holes he's talking about, of course, are here. You look at how massive these are and the amount of water that can get in. Holes up here, as well as holes up in the front. You can probably see the light, if I get my hand out of the way, you can see the light through the holes up there in the front there on each side. And even down here along the uh, edge, it can seep in. And so those have all been filled. Uh, that's, that's just silicone caulk. It's go to your homeowner supply, tube of caulk, eight bucks and just go crazy. Uh, 30 year lifespan, you're good. I also filled this area. I put weather stripping in there, put a little caulk on top. It doesn't seal. It's got weather stripping here along the sides. I'm a little OCD. So close the tailgate, close the lid. Do I see light? And yeah, there's still a little light along here because this doesn't actually touch and some very mild, but not like it was. Right. And then the light that was coming through here, here, and up front, isn't there. My truck, which, you know, it's in theory one of the higher level trim levels, but it didn't have the rail system. Right. Uh, so all of the holes for the screws for that, well, those all have caulk in them now. Um, and across the front, back here, up and down. So there's a lot of sealing going on again a little obsessive compulsive i'll admit it but it does seem to have made this thing where it doesn't leak uh which i've never had a tonneau that didn't leak because you've been out in a couple of showers and showers haven't and had any water no water awesome and in the others i would have had water so it uh it'll also keep down dust and other things that can come up and migrate when you're driving down the highway the depth de there's there's a gap between these two pieces dust will come up right and it's gonna it will it, it's going to and it'll migrate in here it'll keep some of that down too and you can see that if you look at mine again what he's talking about right here in the corners there is dirt that has come into the truck even though i always have it closed when i'm driving it up there behind the wheel wells you guys can see that there's even some fluff up there but look at this it's yeah. kind of brown back here at the back. And that's this thing pulls a hellacious vacuum. That's why everything, all the fine mist when you're driving sticks to your back and covers up your little uh, backup camera and all of that. Mm -hmm. It's because there's a vacuum behind the truck. Well, it's going to suck it in. Right. 
to all kinds of places. So overall, and one more thing, what was the cost on this? Do you recall? It's like 300 bucks. 300 bucks. You're happy with it? I'm thrilled with it. It's a third the cost of the back clip I had on the Tacoma. And the only advantage the Tacoma had was you could one hand it and I could fold it all the way up against the window. This one only folds to where th this is left. The, the, this, this one does not fold up. Okay. But as easy it is, it is to take off, if I need the whole bed, it's a 10 minute project. Gotcha. It ain't hard. Okay, cool. All right, so just wanted to give a little quick review or update, if you will, on this tonneau cover. Uh, leave a comment, let me know if you've got this or something like it. How's yours doing? And did you go to the extra step, or take the extra step, to go ahead and do the caulking and stuff like Randall did? I'd be curious to know. Also, real quick, I have two Dose other channels. The first is Rob Motive, all about my 2020 Toyota Tacoma, sitting right up there. The other is Rob Motive Civic, all about my adventures with the Honda Civic Sport Hatch and the Honda Civic Type R. Check them out. If you like them, please consider subscribing. Don't forget to click on that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, smash that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.